Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Komodo National Park Komodo National Park is a protected area located in the Lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia, and it was established in 1980. The park comprises three major islands, Komodo, Rinka, and Padar, as well as numerous smaller islands. The park is best known for its population of Komodo dragons, the largest lizards in the world. In addition to the Komodo dragon, the park is home to a variety of other wildlife, including buffalo, deer, wild boar, and various bird species. The park's marine environment is also rich and diverse, with coral reefs, seagrass beds, and mangrove forests, as well as over 1,000 species of fish and other marine creatures. The park is also a popular destination for activities such as hiking, diving, and snorkeling, and there are a number of guided tours and activities available for visitors. To protect the fragile ecosystem of the park, visitors are required to follow strict rules and regulations, and there are designated areas for activities such as diving and snorkeling. Overall, Komodo National Park is a unique and fascinating destination that offers visitors the opportunity to experience some of Indonesia's most stunning natural beauty and wildlife. Borobudur Temple Borobudur Temple is a 9th-century Mahayana Buddhist temple located in Majlang, central Java, Indonesia. It is one of the largest Buddhist temples in the world, and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The temple was built in three tiers, with a pyramidal base and five concentric square terraces, topped by three circular platforms and a central dome. The temple is decorated with 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues, with the largest statue located at the center of the main dome. The relief panels depict scenes from Buddhist teachings and Javanese life during the 8th and 9th centuries. Borobudur Temple was abandoned in the 14th century and remained hidden under layers of volcanic ash and jungle growth until it was rediscovered in the early 19th century. The temple underwent extensive restoration in the 20th century and is now a popular tourist destination and pilgrimage site. Visitors can explore the temple and its surroundings on foot, with guided tours available to provide historical and cultural context. The temple is also a popular destination for sunrise and sunset viewing, with panoramic views of the surrounding landscape from the top of the temple. Overall, Borobudur Temple is a remarkable feat of architecture and a testament to the rich cultural history of Indonesia, attracting visitors from all over the world to marvel at its beauty and spiritual significance. The Raja Ampat Islands the Raja Ampat Islands are a chain of more than 1,500 small islands located in the West Papua province of Indonesia. Known for their incredible natural beauty and marine biodiversity, the Raja Ampat Islands are one of the world's top scuba diving destinations. The islands are home to nearly 1,500 species of fish and over 600 species of coral, making the waters surrounding Raja Ampat some of the most diverse in the world. Visitors can explore colorful reefs, encounter manta rays and whale sharks, and marvel at the countless species of tropical fish that call the area home. In addition to the stunning underwater world, the Raja Ampat Islands are also famous for their lush rainforests and picturesque beaches. Visitors can take guided hikes through the jungle, spot rare bird species, and relax on secluded beaches with crystal clear waters. Despite their incredible natural beauty, the Raja Ampat Islands remain relatively remote and undiscovered, making them an ideal destination for travelers seeking an off-the-beaten-path adventure. The Bromo Mountains The Bromo Mountains, also known as the Tangier Massif, is a volcanic mountain range located in East Java, Indonesia. It is named after Mount Bromo, one of the most famous and active volcanoes in the range, with an altitude of 2,329 meters, 7,641 feet. The Bromo Mountains consist of a group of peaks, including Mount Bromo, Mount Badak, Mount Corsi, and Mount Watongan. The range is part of the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, which covers an area of 800 square kilometers, 309 square miles, and is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, apart from volcanic peaks. The Bromo Mountains are also known for their breathtaking landscapes of green valleys, savanna grasslands, 
and black sand deserts. The area is also frequented by hikers and adventure enthusiasts who come to explore the various hiking trails, trekking routes, and jeep tours through the national park. One of the popular attractions of the Bromo Mountains is the sunrise view from Mount Penanjakan, a scenic viewpoint that offers an unobstructed view of the sunrise over Mount Bromo and the surrounding peaks. Another highlight is the annual Yadnya Kasada Festival, which sees the local Tangarese people offering various offerings to the gods on the slopes of Mount Bromo. Overall, the Bromo Mountains are a must-visit destination in Java for nature lovers, adventure seekers, and anyone looking to experience the dramatic beauty of volcanic landscapes. Ubud and its rice fields Ubud is a small town located in the uplands of Bali, Indonesia. Known for its beautiful rice fields, Ubud offers visitors a unique and peaceful experience with its lush greenery and scenic landscapes. The rice fields in Ubud are not just a beautiful sight to behold, they are also an important part of the local culture and economy. The Balinese people have been practicing rice cultivation for centuries, and their knowledge and expertise can be seen in the intricate irrigation systems and terraced fields that cover the landscape. The most popular way to experience the rice fields in Ubud is by taking a leisurely stroll or bike ride through the terraces. This allows visitors to take in the breathtaking scenery and get up close with the farms and farmers. The rice fields also provide a great opportunity for nature lovers to see exotic birds, butterflies, and other wildlife. To fully immerse yourself in the rice field culture, you can also take part in a traditional rice planting or harvesting ceremony. This involves working alongside a local farmer to plant or harvest rice paddies using traditional tools and methods. Overall, the rice fields in Ubud are a must-see for anyone visiting Bali. Whether you're looking for a peaceful escape from the bustling city or want to learn more about the local culture and traditions, the rice fields in Ubud are a truly unforgettable experience. Lake Toba Lake Toba is a large volcanic lake located in North Sumatra, Indonesia. It is one of the deepest lakes in the world, measuring 1,145 feet 349 meters, in depth, and is also the largest lake in Southeast Asia, with a surface area of approximately 440 square miles 1,145 square kilometers. The lake was formed over 70,000 years ago as a result of a catastrophic volcanic eruption which created a caldera that eventually filled with water. Today, the lake is surrounded by lush forests and fertile farmland, and is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. In addition to its natural beauty, Lake Toba is also rich in culture and history. The region is home to the Batak people, an indigenous group with a unique language, customs, and traditions. Visitors can explore traditional Batak villages, see local handicrafts like weaving and wood carving, and sample delicious Batak cuisine, water sports, and recreational activities are also popular at Lake Toba, including swimming, boating, kayaking, and fishing. The lake is also a popular destination for scuba diving, with visibility reaching up to 30 meters in some areas. Overall, Lake Toba is a natural wonder and cultural treasure that should not be missed by visitors to Sumatra. Lawrence National Park Lawrence National Park is a protected area located in the Papua province of Indonesia. The park was established in 1997 and covers an area of 25,056 square kilometers, making it the largest national park in Southeast Asia. The park is named after Dutch explorer and Nobel laureate Hendrik Lorentz, who explored the area in the early 20th century. It is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species, including unique flora and fauna found only in Papua. The park is also home to several indigenous tribes, such as the Azmet and Dani, who have lived in the area for centuries. The park is a significant cultural site, and the indigenous communities continue to preserve their unique traditions and way of life. Visitors to the park can enjoy a range of activities, including trekking, birdwatching, and wildlife spotting. The park also offers opportunities for canoeing, whitewater rafting, and mountain climbing. Lorenz National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is recognized for its outstanding natural beauty and cultural significance. It is a valuable asset to the people of Indonesia and an essential part of the country's natural heritage. 
The Gili Islands The Gili Islands are an archipelago of three small islands located off the northwest coast of the island of Lombok, Indonesia. The three islands are Gili Trawangan, Gili Mino, and Gili Air. They are known for their beautiful beaches, clear water, and excellent snorkeling and diving opportunities. The islands are popular with backpackers and tourists looking for a more laid-back vibe than Bali. They are also popular for surfing, yoga, and nightlife. The islands have banned motorized vehicles, so the main modes of transport are bicycles and horse-drawn carriages. Prambanan Prambanan is a Hindu temple complex located in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. It was built in the 9th century during the reign of the Sanjaya dynasty and is considered one of the largest and most impressive Hindu temples in Southeast Asia. The complex includes more than 200 temples, with the main temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple's tall and slender architecture is typical of Hindu architecture, with intricate carvings and sculptures adorning the walls and pillars. The temple was abandoned in the 10th century and fell into disrepair. It was rediscovered in the 18th century and underwent major restoration efforts in the early 20th century. Today, the Prambanan Temple Complex is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and remains an important center of worship for Hindus in Indonesia.